tennis star Novak Djokovic is out of the Park Hotel. But more than 30 refugees and asylum seekers are still there. One of them is Jamal. He set out for Australia on a boat in 2013 to escape the Taliban. Instead, he was moved to Nauru, where he was recognised as a refugee by the Nauruan government. He says the indefinite detention left him feeling hopeless about his future, and after five years, he attempted to end his life. I got third degree injuries. Uh, it's, uh, it's a deep scar and it will stay for my lifetime. In 2019, he was brought to Australia for treatment. Locked inside this Melbourne hotel, he caught COVID-19 in a recent outbreak and says the ongoing detention is making his mental health worse. The reason I just come on the TV and just want to know the, the people of Australia that how we be badly treated here inside the detention. Last month, several fires were lit and there was an alleged assault at the hotel. Police expect to charge two people over the incidents. His lawyer says it's not safe and he should be released. He worked to keep the rest of the world safe and in his hour of need, not only did we abandon him, but we sent him to a place that has torture-like conditions. Australia's border policies do not allow those who arrived by boat to permanently settle here, but refugee advocates are calling on the government to take a more humanitarian approach. Our refugee and asylum policy is inhumane. It's cruelty for cruelty's sake. We've turned what should be an issue of compassion into an issue that's about security, about borders and about dehumanising people. In a statement, a Home Affairs spokesperson said the department does not comment on individual cases and that temporary transfer to Australia for medical treatment is not a pathway to settlement. Despite this, Jamal is holding on to hope that the refugees won't be forgotten once the Djokovic saga is over. We are your children. We are your brothers. A plea he hopes is heard. Erin Handley, ABC News.